Hey guys, welcome back to my channel again. My name is Arsalan and today we are on day 7 to build the problem solving skills with the help of Python. So we will be using integers numbers to build our problem solving skills. So this is there is a question which will be say, it says that implement function to find the greatest common divisor. I will be explaining you that what is common greatest common divisor and just before starting to solve this question guys please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button and press the bell icon button and bookmark the playlist so that you can get the updates from the channel and if you are very new to this playlist let me give you a very brief introduction of what this playlist is all about so in this playlist we have been solving we have been building logic with the help of python and we are using numbers integers to build our logical reasoning so now you can see that on day one we have solved a very basic question and we have been increasing the bar from day one and uh, you can see that we have solved so many question already now on day 7 where we have a question which are where we have to find the greatest common divisor so let me explain it to you what we call greatest common divisor that it is also called scf which is highest common factor scf is equals to highest common factor highest common factors all right so what is factor so let's suppose we have a number s num is equal so let's suppose we have uh, 10 so the factors of 10 will be numbers which can divide 10 so the number which can divide 10 which will be giving remainder as 0 are numbers which are uh, the factors of 10 factors is equal to what factors of 10 will be 1 2 5 and the number itself so this is the factor these are the factors right so 1 2 5 and 10 let's say this is num 1 and we have two numbers let's suppose we have two numbers 2 uh, 10 and 20 now the factors of 20 will be factors of 10 factors of num 1 num 1 will be 1 2 5 10 and factors of num 2 will be what num 2 will be uh, 1 2 and then 4 will be included then 5 will be also included then 10 and then 20 so now these are the factors of 20 why because you, if you divide 20 by 1 it will be giving remainder as 0 if you divide 2 by uh, 20 by 2 then it is also it will be giving 0 then 4 it will be also giving 0 5 10 20 you can try all of these number it will be giving remainder as 0 so these are the factors of the of the what of the 20 now 10 has four for four factors and 20 has six factors but these are the factors. this is these are the this means uh, this these are the factors right so we know what is factors right now uh, we have to find the common factors from these two numbers so the common factor from both of these numbers will be 2 and 5 right so the common factors common factors of these numbers will be 2 and 5 and uh, we have understood what is factor we have under understood common factor why common factor 2 or 5 because 2 is common between both of these number and 5 is also between common between both of these numbers uh, and 10 as well 10 as well also 10 is also included so 10 is also included in this part because 10 is also a part of num1 and 10 is also part of num2 so what we will be doing here is we will be understanding what is highest common factor now we have understood what is factor then we have understood what is common common factor we have understood now what is highest common factor so guys guys from the word itself from the sentence itself you can understand that the highest common factor means that the highest factor which is common between both of these numbers both of these numbers the common factor the highest common factor will be 10 because 10 is the highest number which is common between both of these numbers so the common factor gcd will be 10 because this 10 is common between both of these numbers so 10 is the gcd this is the highest common factor so i hope you have thus understood the part which is what is called is gcd and you have understood what is scf so scf means highest common factor and gcd means greatest common divisor which means the same which is the same concept 
all right they don't have they, they just have the same uh, they, they just have the different uh, names you can say but they both means the same thing so so first uh, uh, first concept i hope you have understood this that to understand what is scf now to move on to this tutorial we have to find you have to create a program you have to create a program that will be finding the highest common factor for us yeah we this 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 we have done manually we have taken two numbers what if the uh, we, if we take numbers from the user we create a function uh, we created a function and any number comes we can find the hcf or gcd you can say so we can just write def hcf a function and we will be taking two numbers here let's say num1 and num2 and these numbers could be anything and now we have to find the uh scf so to find the scf first of all you'll find the factors so let's say the factors is equals to or you can just say common factors we'll just find directly finding the common factors through a loop so common factors is a empty list so what i am going to do here is i will be creating a loop which will be starting from for num in uh for num in range range and uh, i am going to just tell you one more thing here that uh, if i take 10 here if i take num1 here num1 can be anything num1 can be 20 as well num1 can be 30 as well but what if the num1 is greater than num2 and num2 is less than uh, so uh, num10 uh, uh, the condition can come that number 1 is also could be greater and number 1 can also be less than num2 so what i'm going to do here i'll be finding the maximum between two, the, these two numbers right to find the maximum of these two numbers i will be just writing max num is equals to you will be using the max uh, function of the python which is inbuilt i will be writing num1 separating by them by comma and writing num2 so this will be returning me the maximum value between these two numbers so i am going to tell that that uh, return max num if i just return max num and try to run this code for you and i will just commenting these two values for now and uh, i am going to just print this value so first i will i will be writing print here and i will be writing scf here scf and i will be writing two numbers here let's suppose i write 10 and 20 here so the max number i will be getting here is 20 let's just run this code and show it to you that i am getting 20 so what i mean here is that guys i will be putting here in this in my range function what i will be printing i will be printing max num what i will be printing for num in range max num max num why i am writing max num guys because see if i want to run a loop if i write uh, any number right let's say if i write num1 and num1 is 10 so it will be not looping till 20 i want to loop till the maximum value between both of these number let's suppose if i print num let's say if i print num i should get what uh, what should i get i should get num1 uh, i will be getting uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 5 15 16 17 18 19 until 19 i should be getting the values see i am getting 19 values so so instead of this if i print uh, let's just start it from 1 and let's just leave this one for now i will be explaining it to you i will be starting from 1 uh, so what i'm going to do here is uh, if i just show it to you that if i put um, instead of put uh, putting max num if i put num1 here what i will be getting i will be getting 10 here till 9 it's running and i want to run till 20 so i will be writing num2 here right so i am again and again changing but i want till 20 what if i just put 30 here instead of 20 so i want to run till 30 but now i have put put it put Put what num two here. So num two is what ter twenty. So it will be not running till twenty. It will be running till sorry. It will not running till thirty. It will running till twenty, which is nineteen. Of course, I will be just incrementing it by one, like this, which will be now inclusive. 
because range function allow us to use the uh, it, it does it does not include the number itself so we have to put one here and i've already explained it to you in my previous tutorial on my face first question where i explained it to you why we'll be taking num plus one so i put take one num plus one here and if i try to run this code now it so it show it to you that i'm getting 20 here so each time i'm just changing this value let's suppose i take 50 here and 100 here so what it uh, for uh, till where it will be running it will be running from one uh, sorry zero till hundred but i am changing these values and i have to change these values too accordingly and uh, what if the uh, if the you because uh, what if the user has to change means user will not be asked to change accordingly so what we can do here instead of this okay i can write max num I can write max num so whichever the max number will be so it will be running till that number so let me just tell it to you that I, if I run this code now it will just running till 99 or I will be just writing max num plus 1 and 99 it will be running and if I just put let's suppose if I put 500 here now I'm not changing anything I'm just changing these numbers which will be just changed by the users all right so let's see now it's 500 so I am just changing these numbers in my print values I'm not changing anything in my function so this is how things will be working I'm just taking max max number so it is changing accordingly now what I'm gonna do here is I will be appending all the factors common factors between num1 and term2 so I will just taking small numbers let's just take 10 and 20 because we know the SCF of 10 and 20 is 10 we already know it so we can just try it and uh, run it uh, so I'm gonna check first of all if 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 what if num mod uh, uh, I'm gonna just check num1 uh, mod num1 mod i or num is equals to uh, 0 which means that if it is divisible by zero and and num2 mod num is also divi is also divisible by num which will be giving me remainder as zero i put a condition here which says that uh, the number one number one here is 10 it should be divisible by what it should be divisible by num and also i put one more condition here i put an end statement which means that both of these conditions should uh, should return me true value these two conditions should return me tell you if either of them is a false then it will be not returning me a true value all both of them will be returning me as false so both of these conditions should return me true values now what i'm seeing here is that num1 sh mod num should return me zero and num2 mod num should be returning me zero and I, if both of them are returning me zero i will be appending those numbers inside my common factors because those values will be my common factors right so it will be starting from zero still be starting from zero and right now i will be showing it to you that why i, am, I haven't written uh, why i will be not starting it from zero so i will be printing num here why i'm not starting from zero if you know some maths here that we cannot divide any number by zero if we divide it by zero it will be giving me an infinite value let me just try to run it code and show it to you that it is showing me that integer modulo by zero we cannot divide it by zero so what i'm going to do here i'll be starting it from one here now now what i'm gonna do here is i'm return i'll be returning return me common factors now let's just run this code and show it to you that how many factors we have got so common factor is one two five and ten as we have already checked it above so it will be one as well one will be also here so one two five and ten these four values will be my uh, common factors right so what i'm gonna do next here is guys that i have to check the uh, highest common factors and just before to check highest common factors uh, means I have, to, I have to check the highest value so before i do that let me just tell it to you one thing that how i have just approached this i have said that 
if you have under- understood this of course if you have understood this then also you can listen you will be just gaining more understanding more clarity but if you have not understood it let me just explain it to you one more time that first of all i have counted from uh, i started from num in range 1 till max number plus 1 i suppose that till here you have understood this now i have put a condition here that saying that if num mod num num1 mod num num1 is 10 so num1 mod num should be equal to 0 which means that it should be giving me remainder 0 which means it is divisible by num any any number 1 any num, uh, number 1 and any number which is dividing this number 1 any number which is dividing this number 1 should be appended in this value and also that number should be dividing num 2 what i and i say what i said here is that any number which is dividing both num1 and num2 completely what i am saying num any number which is dividing both of these value num1 and num2 completely at the same time which which includes num1 to 5 and 10 all right so both of those both of if it is dividing both of those numbers both of them numbers uh, sorry both of these numbers then that number should be appended in my common factor list and if i then run this list see i am getting 1 2 5 10 i will be also getting factors 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 instead of writing and if i put or here i will be getting all the factors let me show it to you i'll be getting all the factors see 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 but this is not a common factor guys 4 is also there but it, it is not a factor of 10 all right 20 is there but 20 is not a factor of 10 so hope you have understood this so what i am going to do here is i am just writing and here now i suppose that you have understood each individual part before i just show it to you that how will we getting the common factor highest common factor so now we have got the common factors right now we have to approach to get the highest common factor so how how we will be doing it i have already told you to you we can use max function max function to get the highest common factor we can just write it like this and we will put we will put max here and we will be getting maximum right see we are getting 10 as our icf and i can write f string here f string here and close it by parenthesis and then i will putting curly braces here and writing icf colon and max common factor now let's run this code and you can see that i am getting 10 as my icf now if i take a chain if i take another values let's suppose i take 40 and 20 and 40 <coughs> or or i can take take 30 and then i try to run this code and show it to you that what i'm getting is 10 again because 10 is common between both of these values let's take some weird value let's take 43 here as and 43 is a prime number and 30 is a not a prime number so how it will be getting the values it will be getting the factors of 43 which is 1 and 43 and then the factors of 30 will be 1 3 and so on 1 2 3 and so on so the common factor here should come i guess 1 see scf is 1 So guys what uh, I hope you have understood this question one way one more way I can just return this value and let's just say uh, you you do not want to use this max function and you want to try some other method so alternate way I can just show it to you that I can just show it, show an alternate way alternate way of returning a value which is not like this I am going to just return something like uh, return me what return me this only but i will be just returning it in, uh, in an alternate way instead of using max function what i am going to do here is i will be saying that common factor and i will be writing negative index why i am going to write negative index because the negative index means that i am uh, i am just targeting the last value of the factor so last value will be coming at the last which means that it will be highest value so the odd common factor is already sorted from uh, in the form of increasing numbers right 
this common factor is already sorted in the form of increasing numbers which means that it is of uh, it is sorted in the form of 1 2 5 10 20 uh, 10 20 so it is not jumbled it is sorted already sorted 1 2 4 10 uh, 4 5 10 20 so if i just run this like like this and show it to you see i am getting an, a 10 and 1 again so either way you can run this you will be getting the same answer i hope you have understood this question on day 7 and ho hope it it will be helping you guys a lot so if you if this playlist is helping you guys please do subscribe to the channel hit the like button press the bell icon button and share it with your friends thank you guys for watching this video and see you next time